Hi there, I'm Aaron, one of the fitters here at SGGT Edinburgh. Today we are going to be testing Callaway's new AI 200 and 300 in the brand new Apex line. So how is this testing going to work? We are going to hit 4, 6, 8 and pitching wedge of both the AI 200 and the 300 range. Uh, we're going to compare them. We're going to use Callaway Premium Ball. Um, we're going to hit some inside and we're going to hit some outside. The reason we use 4, 6, 8 and pitching wedge is so we can exactly determine what the ball speeds and spin rates are going to be throughout your set rather than just taking a 7 iron and then kind of guessing above and below. This way we can just precisely pinpoint exactly what you need as a golfer. First impressions on these, the AI 200 sits very much like a classic Apex iron. Um, slightly thinner top line than the 300, it's, it's very much that player's distance iron. As soon as you put the 300 down, you see the size difference. It's a thicker top line, it looks like it's got a stronger lock, which it's not all that much stronger, but it's, it, does, it does look that way. A little bit more offset as well, um, but they look, they look good for the size that they are. So who are these irons for? With the AI 200, um, which comes in the smaller package, a little bit more loft on it for that player that still wants a little bit of forgiveness. Um, this, is, this definitely packs a punch. Still a powerful iron, 30 degrees 7 iron. It's a player's distance iron that's going to more than compete in that category. So we've tested the AI 200. We're now going to use the exact same shaft, same setup. Um, and we're going to hit the AI 300. See how that goes. The 300 is its kind of bigger, stronger sibling. Um, that's for the player that still that wants a bit more distance, maybe needs a bit more help getting the ball out there. It's really, really fast. It's faster than the one degree of separation would suggest. Um, they're both going to go far. They're both forgiving. Really, the only way to determine what one is for you is to, is to test it. So my key takeaway for uh, reading some of the data, the spin is a little bit higher in the AI 200s. The spin is a bit more consistent in the AI 200s compared to the AI 300s. They've both got the 360 face cut. They've both got Callaway's new AI smart face. They've brought their artificial intelligence from their drivers and they've brought it into their irons. Um, and all the marketing seems to be accurate. It's, they're both fast. The AI 300 comes off that a little bit quicker. Like I said earlier, it's, it's kind of, it's only one degree stronger, but I've, I've got 10 yards of a jump between the pitching wedge and pitching wedge. 8 iron, 8 iron, 6 iron and 6 iron. It's the 4 iron where I struggled a little bit with the spin. So when you compare the two 4 irons, the carry is exactly the same. It's the total distance that changes. Uh, the, the 300 rolls out 10 yards more. It's because the spin is 900 revs less. The ball speed is more consistent in the AI 200s. So every day of the week, me as a, as a fitter, I'm choosing AI 200 in that. Based on that, 6 iron, similar story, except the, it carries further 10 yards. Um, ball speed's higher, spin's lower. The spin's still impressive in the 300s, the fact that it's going that far and still got that much control. Pitching wedge is an 8 iron, that's definitely where I'd struggle with the, the 300. Um, coming in a bit hot, they go really, really far. So if you're looking for a bit of distance, that 300 is going to be phenomenal. Um, for someone with a higher swing speed, it's, it's just going to be hard to control. So that's my thoughts on Callaway's new AI 200 and 300 irons. Stay tuned for part two, and if you want to book your fitting, head to www.sggt.co.uk now.